friends welcome back to code generator myself apurva i hope you are all doing fine and well so in this video i am going to teach you about the difference between osi model and tcp ip model before moving on to the difference let me give you the introduction or let us know what is tcp ip and osi model let's let's start with what is osi model The OSI stands for Open System Interconnection which was developed in 1980s. It is conceptual model used for network communication. It was not implemented entirely but it was still referenced today. This OSI model consists of seven layers and each layer is connected to the each layer. The data moves down to the OSI model and each layer adds the additional information. So, the data moves down until it reaches the last layer of the OSI model. Now, let's see what is TCP IP model. The TCP IP model stands for Transmission Control Protocol whereas IP stands for Internet Protocol. So, it's combination of both TCP and IP. The number of protocols that make the internet possible comes under the TCP IP model. Nowadays, we do not hear the name of TCP IP model much, but generally hear the name of IPv4 or IPv6, but it is still valid. This model consists of four layers and let's see the difference between them now. So the first difference is OSI. The OSI model stands for Open System Interconnection whereas TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and IP stands for Internet Protocol. So OSI model has been developed by ISO whereas TCP IP model was developed by ARPANET. So, an OSI model consists of seven layers and TCP IP consists of four layers. OSI is an independent standard and generic protocol used for communication gateway between the network and the user. Whereas, TCP IP consists of standard protocols that lead to the development of an internet. So, it is a communication protocol that provides the connection between the all the hosts. So, in the OSI model, it is a network and end user. We are the connection between the only the hosts. So, next, in OSI model, it is based on ver vertical approach, whereas TCP IP is based on the horizontal approach. The usage of OSI model is very low and compared to TCP IP, it is widely used and highly used. OSI is also known as reference model through which various networks are built, whereas TCP IP is an implemented model of the OSI model. So, without OSI model, TCP IP model cannot be generated or it, it takes the reference of OSI model. Protocols in the OSI model are hidden and can be easily replaced when the technology changes. In TCP IP, the protocol cannot be easily replaced. So, let's see the next. The transport layer provides a guarantee for the delivery of the packets in the OSI layer whereas the transport player does not provide the surety of the delivery of the packets in the TCP IP model, but still it is reliable model. So, OSI protocol dependent because of OSI model defines the services, protocols and interfaces as well as provides the proper destination between them. Whereas, TCP IP protocol depend is protocol independent because in the TCP IP model services, protocols and interfaces are not properly separated. So in OSI model each layer is separated but in TCP IP it is not properly separated some of the layers. So in OSI model 
provides the standardization to the devices like rotor, motherboard switches and other hardware devices. Whereas TCP IP, it does not provide the standardization of the devices, it can provide the connection between the various computers. So, I hope this video was informative and useful to you guys. So, if you like this video, please like, share and comment in our channel and also share with your friends and relatives or anyone. So, if you have any questions or queries, you can contact us in the Instagram, Gmail, Facebook or any source or also you can comment in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you so much.